Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Well, I have here in front of me a challenge. <laughs> the lovely Bonnie at Bonnie and Clive has sent me a pile of old photographs. Um, just, you know, those photographs that you have that are just a random stuff and nobody even knows who it is or when it happened or, yeah. It's random hotel rooms and buildings and you know, all that sort of thing. <laughs> um, and she said, I've got like hundreds of these, do something with them. So I was doing something with them today and this is what I have done <laughs> at this present moment. Um, I've been spraying random stuff on them just to see what happens. <laughs> now most of these were actually printed um, on a home printer, they're not actual photographs from a, um, a proper photography place so but the thing I found that worked the best was this isopropyl alcohol so um, I put a few in a bag and sprayed them and while it didn't do an enormous amount to the front of the photograph it sure made the backs of them interesting even the ones that were properly printed um, from a store um, started to pick up some colour. So um, there's two in here like that and I will actually put those back through because they're not as colourful as I'd like them to be. We'll see what happens with them later. Um, but yeah, these ones um, have come out pretty well. So. Um, I won't be using the fronts of the photographs because I have no interest in the fronts of the photographs but the backs I really like. So um, I'm going to hang these out to dry and um, those couple that I showed you in the beginning will do something with so that um, yeah, <laughs> you see what I would do with a, an old photograph. Well, first of all, let's pop these ones back in the bag and throw a few more in and spray them. I'm doing about sort of five at a time, five or six thereabouts. Um, not an enormous amount. Um, I don't really know how many Bonnie has sent me here, but it's just a small handful. So um, I'm just doing small batches because, well, I don't want hundreds of photos hanging around my room um, that smell like isopropyl alcohol so but all I do is stick them in the bag give them a, give the front of them a spray and stack another one on top and give that one a spray and stack another one on top and until I'm done um, and then I seal the bag um, so yeah it's not terribly pungent you can smell it for a few moments while you are sort of spraying it in the bag but because it's a ziploc bag um, yeah it, the smell goes away fairly rapidly so it's all contained in the back pretty much so so we'll do a few of these and then um yeah we'll make something with the three that are on my desk here that have already dried um i think they would make good journal cards um they would make good um like collage paper although It'll be interesting to see how well they would stick, um, being as you would have to glue the photo side down. Um, but what I would like to do with them today is make pockets. I think they would make terrific pockets in a journal. And I've got the, just the journal that I want to put one in. So, yeah. <laughs> we will um, seal this up, give it a bit of a squish down, make sure everything's touching, and... Um, yeah, then go on with making a few pockets. I'm just adding a random bit of footage here um, because I wanted to show you the results of those um, photographs that we did just then. Um, this is the next morning and 
I was quite impressed with these sitting overnight. Um, interesting things happen that I did not expect. Now these ones are the um, home printed photographs. They're on photographic paper, so it's um, yeah, it's still decent quality. But um, as you can see, they're still. I mean, the backs are beautiful, but as photographs, they're still quite recognisable. Um, but the interesting thing to me was the um, shop printed ones. Not only were the backs sort of, you know, interesting, but the fronts really ran out. They faded completely. They were almost unrecognisable as what they were to begin with. So I just found that super interesting and wanted to share it with you. Um, yeah, you can see here the, these two at the top are the ones that were shop printed and this is what the um the fronts ended up looking like and this was the one that well this is one of the ones that were home printed and it's still quite recognizable as what it was but the shop printed ones just really washed out so yeah it's something to keep in mind just in case you give it a go <laughs> The colour that um, seems to seep out of them most predominantly is this magenta sort of pinky colour. Um, but yeah, it, it's quite nice. I like it. It's very mottled and stained looking and yeah, right up my alley. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull out some scrap papers and whatnot and start gluing stuff down and then yeah basically pop them into a journal as a pocket just the way they are These are just some lovely ladies printed on brown paper bag that I've cut down um, as a size that will fit through my printer. Now I'm just going to pop one of these photographs on these photographs and um, <laughs> yeah I think that looks quite effective. I like it and I think it will go nicely with the journal I have in mind.
there you go there's two pockets knocked out um in no time flat um and we'll do something a bit different on the third one or find something else from the scrap drawer to use in that but um i'll still use one of these pretty ladies and uh yeah just some different papers after i've fossicked around a bit and found something i like Okay, well that's that one done, and the journal I want to put it in is our um, donkey scrappy journal, um, which I haven't seen for a while, so <laughs> um, I haven't done anything to it, it's just been sitting here on my desk while I've been busy with other things, but um, today we're going to pop a pocket in the front of it just because I think it would go nicely with this journal, so yeah, right on the front page. Well, inside the front page, inside the front cover. So, anyway, um, I'm just going to use my acetone base glue for this. I'm sure it will stick quite nicely. I don't see, foresee any issues with it. Um, I will just glue it on both sides and along the bottom and um, pop it down and instant pocket. So, for the moment, um, that's what I'll be doing with these old photographs. Uh, spraying them with isopropyl alcohol and using the bags rather than the fronts so I'll give this bit of ink so it sort of matches the grunginess of the journal and um, yeah it's good to go but um, yes so I have successfully done something with your um, your old photographs Bonnie I hope you approve 
<laughs> and um, yeah, I will keep on racking my brains and see if there's anything else I can think up. So <laughs> thanks for the challenge. I always enjoy something a bit different to think about. And there we have a grungy old pocket from an old coloured photograph. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you might give it a go if you happen to be the lucky recipient of piles of old photographs that you don't know what to do with. Here's one thing. <laughs> and I'll keep on trying to think of others. So, thanks for being here with me today, guys. Um, you have yourselves a great day. I'll see you again next time. Bye.